بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله ومن تبع بالإحسان إلى يوم الدين in the name of Allah the most merciful the bestower of mercy see I ask Allah the most high to send peace and blessings upon Prophet Muhammad and whoever follows Prophet Muhammad in good deeds until the day of resurrection. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Now, in this setting, I'm going to go through a booklet by the name of 10 Matters Which Invalidates a Muslim's Religion or Islam. Now, kindly follow, follow me in this or in these sections. Ten things that are extremely important that we keep in mind in our daily basis of life. <laughs> Bismillah. The first one is shirk. This is when someone ascribes a partner or partners to Allah the Most High even though he is the only one that created you what's the proof of this in the Allah la yaghfir an yushrak bihi wa yaghfir ma duna dhalika liman yasha indeed Allah doesn't forgive that you ascribe partners to him However, he forgives anything other than that to whoever he wishes. And also, the Most High, Allah Azawajal, says in another verse, إِنَّهُ مَنْ يُشْرِكْ بِاللَّهِ فَقَدْ حَرَّمَ اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ الْجَنَّةِ وَمَأْوَاهُمُ النَّارِ وَمَا لِلظَّالِمِينَ بِنْ أَنصَارِ Verily, Whoever sets up partners with Allah in worship, then Allah has made paradise forbidden upon him, and the hellfire is his abidance. There will be no help for the oppressors, and may Allah keep us away from the fire, or Allah keep us away from the fire. The second thing is, Whoever sets up intermediates with Allah in forms of worship, supplicating to him in order to get through to Allah and thereabouts. This person is considered a disbeliever amongst the scholars because he has put an intermediate between himself and his Lord, Allah Azawajal. So this is the second point. So we're, we're going to go through 10 points in this sitting. The first one again is shirk, ascribing partners. The second one is putting intermediates between oneself and his Lord. Allah So whether he puts a saint or whether he puts a so-called righteous person within, between his connection with his Lord, so he invoke that person, instead of Allah Azawajal in order to get to Allah, this is considered a shirk and it takes him out of the fold of Islam. The third is the person who does not consider the mushrikun, the polytheist, to be disbelievers. And this person doubt the shirk that these persons are upon, they are considered to be a disbeliever. The fourth person is that who believes that any guidance other than the guidance and what has been revealed to Prophet Muhammad is superior. So one believe that Prophet Muhammad's way of life and the religion that had been revealed to Prophet Muhammad is of an inferiority. So he takes other than that. This person is considered to be a disbeliever. 
even though this is the religion of Allah Azawajal, and he puts in the highest rank guidance other than Allah Azawajal. This person is considered to be a disbeliever. And that's the fourth. The fifth is the person who hates anything that Allah Azawajal has revealed to his messenger or what the Prophet Sallallahu has done. Even though this person does the actions. So for example, this person goes and he prays. He prays not for the sake of Allah. He prays because mommy and daddy, his tribe members will see that he's praying. That's the only reason he's praying. But deep down, he hates the religion. This person is considered to be a disbeliever. The sixth is the person who mocks anything in the religion. Anything that the Prophet ﷺ has been given to the people as a way of act of worship and, and a way of act of life. And he goes about and he mocks these things. He is considered to be a disbeliever. What's the proof for this? Allah says in his book, Say, was it as at Allah, his signs, his messengers, that you used to make a mockery of? Do not make any excuse. Indeed, you have disbelieved after your iman. And that's the sixth. The seventh is magic, sorcery. Using sorcery to make, using sorcery generally, and also to make someone love another through doing sorcery. So, they go and they go to the witchcrafter, they go to magician, and they believe in this. And they believe in sorcery so much. What's the proof of this? The evidence is a saying of the Most High. وَمَا يُعَلِّمَانِ مِنْ أَحَدٍ حَتَّى يَقُولَا إِنَّمَا فِتْنَةٌ فَلَا تَكْفُرُ They, the two jinns, would not teach this to anybody except saying, We are only a trial, so do not disbelieve. The eighth person is one that supports and help, sincerely help, the Bushrikeen, the polythesis, over the Muslims. So he attempts dearly, sincerely, to help the disbelievers to destroy the Muslims. This person is considered to be a disbeliever. What's the evidence for this? وَمَن يَتَوَلَّهُمْ مِنْكُمْ فَإِنَّهُ مِنْهُمْ إِنَّ اللَّهَ لَا يَهْدِ الْقَوْمَ الظَّالِمِينَ And whoever hold wholeheartedly support them and take them as friends, meaning the mushrikeen and the person that go against the way of Allah, surely, from among, surely he is from amongst them. Verily, Allah does not guide the oppressive people. And the ninth is whoever believes it's permissible for someone to be outside of the Sharia. So the, the way of the Prophet ﷺ is a way and he chooses to go against that way other than the way of Prophet Muhammad ﷺ according to his own desires. So um, just as it was permissible for Khudur to be outside of Sharia of Muslims, this of, of Musa, this person is considered to be a disbeliever. So he believes deeply that the Prophet ﷺ way is one way, but I choose to go another way. And it's permissible for me to do this. The tenth is completely turning away from Allah Azawajal religion by not learning it and not implementing it within his life, his or her lifestyle. 
What's the proof for this? Allah, the Most High, says, وَمَنْ أَظْلَمُ مِمَّنْ ذُكِّرَ بِآيَاتِ رَبِّهِ فَأَعْرَضَ عَنْهَا وَنَسِيَهْ مَا قَدَّمَتْ يَدَاهُ قُلْ وَمَنْ وَقُلْ وَمَنْ أَظْلَمُ مِمَّنْ ذُكِّرَ بِآيَاتِ رَبِّهِ ثُمَّ أَعْرَضَ عَنْهَا إِنَّا مِنَ الْمُجْرِمِينَ مُنْتَقِمُونَ Allah says, Who is more oppressing than the one who, when the verses of his Lord is revealed to him, he completely turns away from them. Indeed, we will retribute them of their evils, which are the, the criminals, the mujrimun. So, one has to keep in mind all these steps or all these phases that we come across on a daily basis and be aware that we have to safeguard, safeguard ourselves from these 10 areas that pushes someone or takes someone out of the fold of Islam. And we have to be aware that the shaitan, may Allah give him what he deserves, is always aiming and goaling, if I can say that, to take the children of Adam from the straight path of Allah. So keep these 10 points in mind whenever you are living your life, whenever you do an action. And know that Allah is above and he knows what you are doing and he knows what's in our hearts. So I ask Allah the Most High to keep us firm upon this overwhelming religion of Islam and let us be strong holders of the Sunnah of Prophet Muhammad and follow the understanding of the pious companions until we Meet our Lord, the Most High. Thank you for listening. Walhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Wa salatu wa salamu ala rasulillah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.